Hi and welcome to Paul's Model Train Stuff. This is uh, another one of my English videos and uh, it's in a series of uh, using a CD uh, motor for Lima trains. So today I have a CD-ROM drive and I'm just going to take it apart and get all the relevant parts out of here and show you which motor you need to have. I'm first gonna remove these. I think they, these screws are from a compact computer, allowing you to easily click the drive. Oh, click the drive in. And they are tight. Since I got computers everywhere, I don't mind keeping these. Now, there are four here on the bottom. Usually there are four here. Removing these will show the uh, bottom part of the drive. And Often you also have to uh, get rid of this part of the front. Let's see if we can get this open. Now this is this is destructive anyway. So there we go. We don't need this right now. Get rid of it. Ribbons, ribbons, it's about this little motor here. That's all we care about. This is the motor that controls the drive tray. And it's usually clicked in, it's soldered on the motherboard, on the, on the small board, and it's held in place with plastic. I'm first going to take this out. If it allows me to. There we go. Now. Zero insertion force sockets. If you want to. Uh, Keep everything intact. You have to, uh, depending on the socket, either lift it like this. This one is a lift, and you can take it out, or you have to. Ah, uh, these are only push-ins. Sometimes you have to um, pull a bit uh, uh, of the socket out, and then you can take the cabling out. This is also a nice motor, nicely greased up for the. Uh, movement of the CD head. This is where um, all the SATA uh, um, signals come in and are decoded into actual movements of, of the drive. Um, in here is the motor that spins the CD or DVD. It's not powerful enough and not interesting for uh, model trains. Uh, uh, same for this, it's a very accurate little motor, very cool, not of interest for this project. Still looking at getting this one out. So here's a plastic pin, that's a plastic pin, oh there's plastic pins everywhere. Buttons are connected to this as well, okay. Actually, this is a more sturdy CD drive than uh, the most I had previously. Uh, so this is a bit more of a hassle to get out. Should have gotten one of the easier ones, I guess.
So I'm trying to remove this whole cover here. hopes to get to the other side of this mechanism so I can unlock the tray and uh, I can of course always unlock the tray through this little thing there we go that's where this little pinhole is for so that's the tray that means this one can come off now as well Means this whole thing comes off. We don't need that right now either. This is the laser module, and oddly enough, this one is magnetic. I've never seen that before. That's a little ribbon connecting to it, freeing that up. This is the motor for the spinning the CD itself. Not interested in right now. Uh, to get the drive bay out, it's just a matter of giving it a good yank. So here are some sprockets, this is the little motor itself. I don't know about you, but I always need little elastic bands. Uh, and I'm also fond of sprockets, although I've never found a good use for these yet, but I'm going to keep them anyway. I'm going to take this wheel out to give me a better view of what's underneath. And I'm going to keep these as well. Now, here's my motor. There's no obvious screws. This is still the part I want to get out, so... I don't care about breaking plastics. There we go. Now this one. And that's the motor part. So, little push buttons, a little LED. This is to signal that the tray is uh, either fully open or fully closed. And here's the motor. Grab the soldering iron. And there we go. This is what you're looking for. Uh, all of these have different voltages. Sometimes there's uh, something written down on them saying, uh, give me your model identification. Here it says made in China with some model number on it, but no voltage. Although this may, no, yeah, this may say 5.9. I got uh, a Fleischmann uh, transformer here. I can put some power on it and it spins. If I connect the leads, I can feel it spinning. It's not going very fast. This is full power. I think this one may be in a good range. Uh, I have to measure it out or look it up. But that's how you get a uh, motor. Oh. My workbench is too full. That's how you get a motor out of a CD drive, which you can then use on a Lima train. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, and I hope to uh, see you on some other videos. Most of my videos usually are in Dutch, but for this Lima series I'm doing them in English right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.